Hi everyone, welcome to the Random Home Gadgets channel. Today I will reveal the TP-Link Deco X68 Mesh Wi-Fi system and show you how to set up the system on AT&T Fiber Internet. Let's talk about the features. Each Deco unit has tri-band connection with two separate 5G bands and a 2.4G band. One of the 5G band is dedicated for bed hall communication between Deco units. This way, it frees up the traffic on the main 5G band for your home internet connection, therefore improves the internet speed. It also features Wi-Fi 6 and can connect up to 150 devices. It's very easy to set up using the Deco app, pretty much plug and play. The current price for the 2 unit pack is listed at $279.99 on Amazon. There is also a 3 unit pack listed at $329.99 at Costco. Now let me open it and take a look. This 3 unit pack includes 3 deco units, 3 power adapters, and 1 ethernet cable. The first step is setting up the main deco unit. The second step is creating the mesh home Wi-Fi network. The third step is setting up the secondary deco units. Now your home mesh Wi-Fi network is fully functional. This is the most basic and easy method to set up the system. 
which would be suitable for basic internet usage such as web browsing and streaming. Now let me show you more advanced setup options. There are two main things to consider when setting up the Deco Mesh Wi-Fi system. First is to decide which mode you are using on the main Deco unit, either router mode or access point mode. Second is to decide which backhaul method for the secondary Deco units to communicate with the main Deco unit, either wireless backhaul or ethernet backhaul. The basic setup I just did, I'll call it method one. This method uses main Deco unit as router and uses wireless backhaul. The second setup method uses main Deco unit as router but changes the backhaul from wireless to ethernet. You can connect the secondary Deco units in series or in parallel. If you want to connect the secondary Deco units in parallel, you need to get an ethernet switch. This is because each Deco unit only has two ethernet ports. One of the ports is used for ethernet input so there is only one port left for Ethernet output. It's very easy to change from wireless backhaul to Ethernet backhaul. All you need to do is plug in Ethernet input cable into the secondary deco unit. Both methods 1 and 2 use router mode in the main deco unit. This causes a problem called double net. When internet information arrives your home network, it will be first routed by the main router and then routed again by the main deco unit. For most basic internet usage, such as web browsing and streaming, there will not be a problem. However, it might cause connection problem when certain service is used, such as online gaming. One way to avoid double net is to bypass the main router and let the main deco unit to do all the routing function. Specifically for AT&T Internet, this can be done by turning on the IP pass-through function at the gateway device. Here is how to turn on the IP pass-through feature. First, in your web browser, you need to type in this address to log in to the AT&T gateway setup page. And then you go to firewall tab and then go down to IP pass through and type in the SS code and over here in the allocation mode set for pass through then here pass through mode use fixed and then under the device list choose your deco after that just hit save and it's done. Another way to avoid double net is to set the main deco unit to access point mode. This way the router function on the deco unit is disabled. All the router function will be done by the primary router of your internet service. So in my case that will be the AT&T gateway. Let me show you how to set the main deco unit to access point mode. For the secondary deco units, you can set them to use either wireless backhaul or ethernet backhaul. When using ethernet backhaul, you may connect the secondary deco units in series, in parallel through an ethernet switch, or even directly to the main router. So now the question is, which setup method has the best performance? Don't worry, I got you covered. I will perform speed tests on each scenario. Here is how I set up the speed test. I will test the Wi-Fi speed in three locations across my house. Location 1 is at the AT&T gateway and main deco unit. Location 2 is at the middle of the house, where I'll put the secondary deco unit. Location 3 is the furthest corner away from the AT&T gateway device outside the house. 
First, let me test the Wi-Fi speed of the AT&T Gateway. As you can see, the Wi-Fi speed drops significantly at the furthest corner of the house. Second, let me test the speed of the Deco Mesh Wi-Fi with the wireless bed hall. The speed is better, but still a 75% drop at the furthest corner. Now let me test the speed of the Deco Mesh Wi-Fi with Ethernet bed hall. The speed is much better, only a 30% drop at the furthest corner. Here is the summary of the speed test. As you can see, at location 2 and 3, AT&T Gateway Wi-Fi performs the worst. With Deco Wi-Fi system, there is a great improvement of speed. The performance of both router mode and SS point mode are about the same, and the Ethernet cable backhaul gives me the best speed. One last thing, if you already have a bunch of smart devices connected to the original home Wi-Fi, and you don't want to reconnect them individually to the new mesh Wi-Fi, the easiest way is to change the mesh Wi-Fi name and password to the same as your original home Wi-Fi. However, you should disable the original home Wi-Fi first, otherwise there will be two Wi-Fi systems with the same name which can cause interference on each other. So let me show you how to turn off the Wi-Fi function on the AT&T gateway. So first, you go to home network and then go to Wi-Fi and then you go to advanced option and turn the Wi-Fi operation off for both 2.4 gigahertz and also the 5 gigahertz so now once you hit the save button, your original Wi-Fi network would be disabled. Warning, once you disable the Wi-Fi function on the AT&T gateway, you will not be able to connect to the setup page with Wi-Fi unless your deco is set at SS point mode. If you cannot get to the setup page with Wi-Fi, then the only way is connecting your computer directly to the AT&T gateway with an Ethernet cable. So make sure you have a laptop or computer that has an Ethernet port. Here are my final thoughts of this mesh Wi-Fi system. The pros are Tri-Band and Wi-Fi 6. Great speed with excellent coverage range. Easy to set up. The cons are unable to separate main network 2.4G and 5G channel limited advanced router functions. Overall, I think this is a very affordable mesh network system that can improve the speed and range of your home Wi-Fi, but it may not fit your need if you want advanced router functions. I hope you enjoy this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you do have questions or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. See you next time!